Yeah, it's a good question and one that I wrestle with a lot because that is the, the shadow side, and I agree with that. It is the shadow side. When I'm teaching Aquinas, for example, I have the guys read you know, hundreds of pages of dense metaphysics and theology. I want my students to read postmodern philosophers like Derrida and Foucault. And you can't do that in an eight-minute YouTube video. That's true. So it's a, it's a gamble, I suppose. It's a gamble that is it worthwhile at least to send out a little message, send out a little seed, send out a feeler, um, maybe using part of the culture that's not explicitly religious that might grab their attention enough mm -hmm. to make them listen. Because the other, the other danger is we stay in our rooms, in our classrooms, with our tomes of theology, and, and we're being very responsible and very oh, deep yes. and all that, but no one's listening. <laughs> that's right. There's the trouble. So I think it's a gamble that's worth taking. Because yeah. um, I agree, it, it does carry the shadow of superficiality. And, uh, you know, I've treated, for example, of, uh, of the Pope's recent encyclical on the, on the social order. Well, that's a really complex text and full of dense arguments. Right. I said, I think, like, here are four main points I'd like you to see in this. Okay, it, it's, it's not uh, profound, but it might be a way of grabbing somebody. So I think it's, it's a risk worth taking.